animal lovers and welcome to How to Help Animals. Today, we will discuss how you can help the birds build their nests. If you stick around to the end, I will give you three fun bird facts as a bonus. In this video, we will go through different types of bird nests and how you can help the birds with their specific type of nest. There are cup nests, tree cavities, holes and crevices, shallow depressions, platforms and pendants. I have written an article about this with a list of the 20 most common birds and what type of nest they use. You might want to check that out if you know the birds in your area but don't know what type of nest they live in. How do I help the birds with their nests? Before you start helping birds, you need to know which birds are in your area. I would assume you already know this. The best advice I can give you is to be as broad as possible with your help. Instead of focusing on only one type of bird's nest, you can offer your help to all types of birds. An easy way to supply the birds with what they need is to serve it to them in a bird suet feeder that you hang in a tree or put in a safe place on the ground. The reason for putting it in a safe place is that you want it to look kind of messy. The grass you put in will flutter in the wind and get the bird's attention. At the same time, you don't want it to be mistaken for trash. The material should be easily accessed and easy for the birds to grab. If you're going for a walk, you can collect small twigs at the same time. Then, you can place the twigs in a pile next to the tree when you're done with your walk. The twigs are perfect at 4 inches or 10 centimeters. Materials Depending on what birds are in your area, you can provide them with different types of materials. 10 things you can provide for them are small twigs, pine needles, a lot of dry grass, longer, thicker plant fiber, bark strips, dried grass clippings, cattail, moss, dead leaves, and feathers. Materials not to use. There are six materials you should never offer to birds. Animal fur. There are discussions about whether you should give animal fur to the birds or not. Some suggest it's fine, but studies from Cornell University has shown examples of birds getting their legs stuck in the hair. There is also a risk of fleas or ticks. So I would suggest keeping it safe and avoiding animal fur from the bird's nest. Human hair. Even though human hair seems like a natural thing to give the birds, you shouldn't. Human hair has oils, chemicals, and could easily be wrapped around the bird's feet. Dryer lint. I have to admit that I've been decorating the birdhouse interior with dryer lint in my early days. The softness of it would be a great start for newborns. But little did I know that the chemicals from the soap and the softener in the lint were bad for birds, and they shouldn't be in contact with it. Yarn. Wildlife experts warn about supplying the birds with yarn since the birds risk getting their legs entangled. The other reason for not using yarn is that it's relatively hard to degrade. Strings. Strings should not be given to birds for nesting. Strings easily get wrapped around the legs and beaks and should be completely avoided. Felt. Even though a nice warm blanket or other cloth feels like a good idea, you shouldn't provide the birds with synthetic material or cotton. They might react badly to the chemicals in the colorings. Other ways to help the birds. The most common reason birds are building nests is because they need to lay their eggs somewhere and give their younglings a safe place. Unfortunately, when the bird mother lays the eggs, she lacks important nutrients. The most common, calcium. You can help the mother bird recover quicker by giving her eggshells to eat. Eggshells provide a good amount of calcium and help her get back on her feet again. Make sure the shells are broken down to small pieces. Three fun bird facts. Thank you for sticking this far. I promised you three fun bird facts at the beginning of the video. Number one. Did you know that ostriches have the largest eyes of any land animal? They can't rival some of the massive creatures that live in the depths of the sea. Their eyes are approximately the size of a billiard ball, which is bigger than their brains. Number two. Speaking of eyes, did you know that some ducks sleep with one eye open? 
When the ducks nap in groups, the ducks in the perimeter keep guards by sleeping with one eye open. While the other ducks sleep more deeply, those on the outside of the circle also keeps one side of their brain awake so that predators won't be able to sneak up on them. Number three. Last but not least, however, the smallest. Did you know that most hummingbirds weigh less than a nickel? The average hummingbird is around four grams, one gram less than a nickel. The smallest hummingbird called the bee hummingbird is closer to 1.6 grams, which is less than the weight of a penny. Thank you for sticking around till the end. In this YouTube channel, we like to keep it light. So why not end with a pun? Why do ducks fly south? Because it's too far to walk. Okay, that one was bad. One more. What do you call a parrot that flew away? A polygon. Thanks for sticking around. And if you like this video, please consider clicking the like button and subscribe for more videos on how you can help the animals.